Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world to have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that you keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, said the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Every day will I bless you. 
and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by my life or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landlord saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You two go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us. Who bore the day's burden and the heat? He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I'm not cheating you. 
Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to keep this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. It's good to see you all on this uh, wonderful, uh, fally weather. Finally, fall has arrived, and I'm sure many of you love this season, and I'm one of you. And this fally season has been somewhat forsaken us for the reason that the, the, the earth has been overused. But this year, due to the pandemic disease, our globe has been less used, and it looks like the Earth is giving us the seasonably reasonable temperature around this time. So being seasonable is always good. For example, let's say a little baby shows maturity and integrity to a point that you feel jealous of this little baby. That's not the baby. And you see well-seasoned in salt and pepper and hair, and yet finding this person so immature, that is not also seasonable and age-appropriate. Being seasonable and being age-appropriate is a big challenge. Today's Gospel talks about the laborers to the Lord's vineyard, beginning from the earliest morning in Jewish uh, the term, the first clock hours. And the laborers who are hired around 9 o'clock, that is the uh, 3 o'clock Uh, the third clock hours in Jewish uh, calculation, and the noontime laborers, and three o'clock laborers, and five o'clock laborers. Five o'clock in Jewish uh, calculation is 11, the 11th uh, clock time. There is one hour prior to the end of the day. And this landowner hired all the people from the early boomers to the late boomers. And they got paid with the same wage. That's the Lord, the today's gospel portraits. Then what does that mean? We all have some regrets in our lives. Some with the reasons that we wasted the early stage of our life and that made us into the current uh, situation where we are standing that is filled with regrets and frustrations. Some are benefited from their hard work under the scorching sunlight and due to their hard work, they now enjoy the success and all the reputations from the place where they are standing. The life is a combination of success and failures and satisfaction and regrets. We all have them. But for some reason, how much ever we appear to be successful and happy, but deep down in our secretive shadowy side of ourselves, we all have mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. There is not fun thing to do, but how much ever we put efforts to forget about the regrets, they are always there gigantically humiliating us. 
young people, they still have time to amend their past regrets. But the people who are old enough, or at least internally exhausted and old, we do not feel that we have enough time. Probably today's topic about my homily is we still have time to make the ugly the beautiful. There is a poet, a Japanese poet. She, when she published her first poetry book, she was 99 years old. And she began to write poetry at the age of 92. You know, thought that instead of idling myself and wasting my time in waiting for my final exit, probably it's better for me to share what I have learned. And she simply wanted to share her own thoughts and feelings and experiences with her children and grandchildren. But these experiences became a poetry book and she published it. And it became the bestseller in not only in Japan but also in the whole world. Toyo Shibata is her name. And after publishing her poetry book, she lived three more years and died at the age of 103. She turned her experiences into beautiful poetries. I myself is a poet too. I published my poetry book, unfortunately, in Korean language. So you do not have opportunities. But I wrote some uh, English poetry, and I might want to share it with you if you want, until you, you, you lose your own patience. <laughs> <laughs> Writing a poetry is a beautiful uh, activity. But thinking about collecting all these beautiful poetries, I find that every single poetry was a product of my painful time and regretful time, the time I had to endure my frustrations. Funny thing is, all the beautiful masterpieces, the arts, music, literature, even in science, they are the products of the painful commitments. The beauty about our life is as you grow older, and many of you are older than I am, and you know more than I know, and you know how to make your past tyrant regret into beautiful wisdom. And you know how to share your experiences with your loved ones. That's the beauty of it. In a nursing home, I visit the people and some of them, they are grumpy about their past. They complain about their children and their wasted time. Some people humbly accept that I am happy. What can I do with the life I have lived and at least I have more opportunity? Doyo Shibata. Shibata, Doyo Shibata. She knew how to make her ugly sighs into shareably beautiful stories. I have a friend, 
Dr. Shin, he, when he earned his PhD degree, doctoral degree in psychoanalysis, he was just turned 60 years old. And he became a doctor and also a psychoanalyst. And he established his own coaching school that is called the ICC, Innovative Creative Problem Center, uh, Institute for uh, Innovative Creative uh, Center. And now he's 70 years old, and what he's doing is sharing his own studies and wisdom and life experiences through the YouTube channels. That's not to bring more money, but to share the valued life story so that the regrets he has do not, does not have to be repeated by the next generation, his own children and his own friends, and the public, this unanimous, anonymous public outside through the internet. And he has direction, and he found it under his own prayers. We all have enough life to regret. And we all have enough life to be proud of ourselves. Again, the life is the combination of dark side and bright side. The important thing is, even the successful story can be an ugly, ugly story. And the most shameful story can be a redeeming, wisdom-ridden story. And many times we are absurd enough in what way we want to share our, our life with you. As the aged one, when you find your next generation, your children are totally involved in earning money and money and money and success and success and success, you find that my son, my daughter, take it easy. Life is not only regarding being successful, making a lot of money and earning reputation. Life is more regarding sharing your love with your loved ones here and now. We want to share this wisdom with your younger generation. And younger generation, they still are facing the tough life ahead of them. And it's understandable. Because if your children, if they did not be diligent enough, then you would not be happy with them at all. Then how do we do it? How do we do the turn our ugly stories and regress into beautiful story? Our life experiences, our past, they need to be touched by God. They need to be touched by, by God. Between God and myself, my ego is engaged. And many times my ego blocks, blocks the intimate touch from God to my experiences. And that's why we are called the, the, the sinners who carry the original sin. The original sin that is marked in the name of pride. The pride is the name that says your soul doesn't embrace God in the center. The owner of our soul is God. And as long as God is the owner of our soul, our 
past failures, regrets. They become the masters and sage of the life we want to share. There is no life that needs to be abandoned and forgotten. Any shameful regrets we have, they can be transformed into treasurous, treasurable stories. And this humanity needs this wisdom. But human producing wisdom and science producing wisdom, they only invite us to more greediness. But God embracing science and God embracing wisdom, they are the wisdom that that saves us. Today, the vineyard owner invites some people in the early stage of life, some people in the uh, middle of life, some people in the late of, of the life. Some may be happy because they started the race early. Some may feel somewhat anxious because my life is almost there and all I have to do is just wait for the final exit from this life. Nothing is too late and everybody is still given with more opportunity. Let's say I only have the stories that hurt me and that hurt others and I'm shameful and I have no hope. That is what your ego says. That is what the Satan within you seduces you. Whatever the stories you have, especially the most shameful and regretful stories, they are the assets if they are touched by God. The vineyard owner invited the laborers who arrived the late stage of their life, the people who believe that things are too late and I have no hope. But the landowner still invites those late and we still have opportunities. Please rise. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to God who is generous in mercy and forgiveness, presenting the needs of the world before him. 
for all who have sought and found the Lord and his holy church, and for those who are in the process of finding their way, we praise the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For political and national leaders, and for all who assist them in exercising their authority, may God open their hearts to his guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For those serving the medical field, and for all those on the front lines of this pandemic, that they may be kept safe from harm as they minister to your flock. We praise to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For a greater respect for the value of human life, from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in the recognition of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconess, religious life, and dedicated lay people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those receiving the sacrament of confirmation by the gift of the Spirit, that they may give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the pre cana couples preparing to enter marriage, and for all married couples, that they may continue to give, be able to forgive, and find their happiness deepen with blessings of each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have experienced illness of body, mind, or spirit from this virus and from every other illness, including those that we have asked for our prayers, Rosemary Mano, Patricia Gorman, Kelly Webb, Joseph Isson, and for those mentioned in our bulletin, may they and their caregivers feel God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, for the intentions of Vicki Magday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For those who have died this week from this virus and from every other illness, including Therese A. Schwartz, Anna Pellegrino, Julia Nelson, Salvatore Delgado, and for all our loved ones who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our intentions, those given to the Ministry of Praise, and those that remain in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God of abundance and generosity, we ask that you, you hear our prayers and grant them according, accordingly to your holy will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just how you tend our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. 
He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave to disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John Barris our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, and Saint Andrew Kim Daegon and Jung Ah Sang, and other 103 Korean martyrs, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs who humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. And the first shall be last, and our eyes are open, and we'll hear like never. Before, and we'll speak in new ways, and we'll see God's face in places we've never known. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love. I live within you. Deep in your heart, O oh love, I live within you. Rest now in me. Love like you, oh 
open my heart, Lord. Help me to love. I live within you. Deep in your heart, O oh love, I live within you. Rest now in me.